Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Now we're going to look at Grand Canyon versus St. Mary's. We're going to look at one of the coaching choices that St. Mary's actually decided to go to. And I'm sure there are fundamental reasons for it. However, I kind of disagree with it in principle. Okay, so first off, we can see that Grand Canyon spreads the floor very well. And we're going to watch in particular the defenders on St. Mary's. Okay, so as this drive happens, okay, the ball gets kicked out. A drive happens baseline. Usually in the majority of defenses, you'll see somebody rotate in there to provide a little bit of help. However, 20 is going to stay glued here, and then every defender is very, very glued to their perimeter player. And it leads to a flush of the rim because you simply have this dude has to close out aggressively, and then the Grand Canyon dude is coming down full steam. Like, that's really tough for 11 to guard. And if there's no help, yeah, you're going to get dunked on occasionally. And the issue is that wasn't just like a one-time thing, like that was a repeated offense, is Grand Canyon did a great job of spreading the floor, and then there was, like here, I don't know, there's gotta be help in my opinion that comes from somebody. Like this is a, a wide open, wide open drive at the rim. And this dude, this defender is like, ah, it's okay. He'll miss or something, and it close out and closes out to this shooter, who I'm guessing isn't even that great of a three-point shooter. Like that's wild. Like that's clearly something they talked about coaching-wise, and that blows my mind. Like that, this can never happen as a defense. It can never happen. And don't get me wrong. I get it. Like you don't want to give up big threes in crucial moments. However, the threes, like they can beat you, as we saw with Kentucky. But layups at the rim are guaranteed to beat you. Like that's automatic. So right here, look at this. Hey, we have one-on-one. -on -one. I guarantee this Grand Canyon player is the more athletic of these two right here. And you have everyone glued to shooters, so it's one-on-one. -on -one. Like, he's going to win that battle seven times out of ten. If you're shooting 70%, like, there's an issue 100%. So I don't know what St. Mary's logic was going into the game. I'm sure Grand Canyon has good shooters you got to respect. However, Grand Canyon did a great job exploiting their lack of help. And... Uh, I'd be curious to see what Grand Canyon's next opponent does. Great game by Grand Canyon.